Everybody, welcome to Mike Koski's Kitchen. This is my 50 by 50 check-in. Now, it's been a few weeks since I checked in. Yeah, you know, with graduations and parties and family stuff. You know what? That comes first. But I'm going to let you know, this is like, I missed two weeks. So I'm going to let you know how I've done. Now, the weight loss has been still fantastic. At this point, I dropped three pounds since the last time you saw me. So that's about a pound a week. And I'm fine with that. You got to be fine with that sometimes. The weight loss goes up and down. But guess what? I'm doing 50 by 50, adding those three pounds to my weight loss. That means I am, let me see, four pounds away from my 50. I've lost 46 to this point. So it's been a fantastic journey. It's been great, ups and downs, struggles, but I only got four to go and I got a whole month to do it. I think, you know, a week from uh, Sunday, the 12th will be a month before my birthday. So I think I can do another pound a week. But I'm gonna try to pass it and see what I can do. Here we go, keep on moving. Guess what, today I have, last time we met, we had uh, the mixo mixology with Mike Oski, and we're gonna do mixology again. It's gonna be part two of mixology, and we're gonna put some island music, and we're gonna do some rum. It's rum cocktails, low carb, keto, no guilt. Can't wait, let's go. Let's take this jacket off. Let's get some fun with rum. Let's take a trip to the islands. I'll see you back over in the workstation. Hey, welcome back to Mike Oski's Kitchen. My name is Michael Olszewski. I'm the chef of this kitchen. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a part of this wonderful journey, 50 by 50. You just saw my intro, I've got four more pounds to go. That means I lost 46 and I got a month to get there. So let's do this, let's do this. We're gonna go past that, heck with it. Today, we're not cooking. We're gonna go back to mixology with Mike Oski. The first time, last video actually, was the vodka cocktails, there's three of those. All of them, all of them are simple, easy to make, very tasty, Low carb, very keto-like. So if you're trying to watch those sugars and carbs and stuff with your cocktails, this is what you need to do. So that was vodka. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a trip to the islands, okay? We're going down to the Caribbean. You can hear the music playing right now. I'm gonna keep that music playing through the whole video because I just love Caribbean music. Um, we're gonna do rum, rum cocktails, three of them. This is gonna be the Eastern Caribbean, you know, like Aruba, which is one of my favorite places in the world. Um, you know, um, St. Kitts and St. Martin's, all that. So it was very rum area. So we're gonna go Eastern Caribbean this time. We're gonna make rum punch, simple, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna make pina colada and we're gonna make a daiquiri, okay? So you're gonna love it with rum, Eastern Caribbean, low carb, very keto-like, guiltless. Now, guiltless means you don't have any guilt drinking it. I can't be responsible for what you do afterwards, so. Thanks for being here. Let's get this daggone thing started. We're going with the rum punch to start with. I'm gonna have my sip here. Mm. And I'll be right back. Rum punch, here we go. Okay, we're back. Let's do this first rum cocktail. It's going to be fantastic. Rum punch. Simple, simple, simple. I'm gonna tell you how simple. We're gonna use some Diet Splash V8. And you wanna make sure that you get the tropical blend. You know what, in eight ounces of this, there's only one carb. Let's rock with that. And then we're gonna use some sugar-free, zero sugar Kool-Aid. Again, tropical punch. We're going tropics, folks. This one has less than one gram per package. And we're not even gonna use the whole package. And of course we have rum and ice. Got my shaker. We've got my glass ready to go. So let's make this thing. Stay with me here, let me have a sip. You know what I do is take eight ounces of your V8 splash, put it in your shaker and take a little bit of this, this um, um, package of um, the um, Kool-Aid Tropical Blend. I am only gonna go about half, it's all you need. And then we're gonna go ahead and do our rum. This one's gonna go two ounces of rum, it's kinda like a double shot. So my cap right here gives me an ounce. There's one, and there's two. Let's cap this thing back on, move my stuff out of the way, and let's shake it. Get a good shake for about 20 seconds. And I hear that island music just to play. 
Turn it up, baby. Oh, yes. I feel like Tom Cruise in cocktails. A couple things I'm missing is his looks and his money. But anyway, boom. That's about all you want to do. Let's go strain it out. Got a glass. It says Sweet Summer on it. Why not? I'm just going to go ahead and pour this in there. Rum cocktail. That's how simple it was. Oh, and it's so good. It is so good. You're going to love it. Rum cocktail. Make this one. Three or four different ingredients. It's so good. Oh, we want to put that one in a pitcher and serve it out at the pool or cookout. Next, let's roll into one of my favorites, pina colada. I'll see you right back here. All right, guys. Hey, I hope you really are going to enjoy that rum punch. Boy, is that good. Let's move on with this, with this rum cocktail day. We're going to go with pina colada right now. Pina colada. You think, hey, how do you make that without having you know, uh, coconut and pineapples and all that kind of stuff. Don't worry, we got you covered. Here's what it is. Again, very simple. You know, about a half cup of ice in there, okay? We're gonna go three ounces of rum. Yes, I said three. Not two, not four. I said three. There's one, two, three. Perfect. This one's gonna kick it up a little bit. Next thing you wanna go with is two ounces of heavy cream which is equal to about a quarter of a cup. This is gonna give us our nice base. Yeah, let's put a little bit more in there. I love the heavy cream. Now, what's gonna give it some good taste? Guess what? We're gonna go ahead and put some of this pineapple coconut refresher. Zero carbs, zero sugars. We're gonna go a teaspoon of that. Spray it in there. That gives you a nice pineapple taste. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna go ahead and put, I don't know, four or five ounces of cold water in here, mix this up in the blender, and we'll come right back. All right, so we're gonna add the cold water in there. Cold water, about a half cup or four ounces, where you wanna look at it. And that should about do it, folks. I'm gonna just put this top on here. I'm using a blender, you're gonna blend this one, okay? You're gonna get it nice and thick. Instead of you standing here watching and listening and watching me, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this thing right now, and I'll be right back. Right, here we are. <clears throat> Nice blend, let's see how it looks. Should be nice, a thicker consistency. Here is your pina colada. Now you can garnish this thing with these strawberry on a, I mean, you can get fancy with it if you want. I'm not a fancy guy, I kinda wanna just, I'm gonna throw that stuff out anyway. But let's just try this. That is really good, guys. Boom, pina colada. Oh, low carb. Probably like a carb or two right here. That's it. Mmm. That's so good. That's the pina colada. See how easy it is to make? Simple ingredients. Easy to make. Fast to be done. You gotta love it. Next, we're gonna rock in and do a rock and roll type of a lime daiquiri. And that's gonna be our third one. Can't wait to do that one. That's a simple one. Just as simple as these first two are. Let's go do the daiquiri. I'm gonna sip this pina colada while I'm gone. See you right back here. All right, guys, we're back. Drink number three are rum cocktails. You're gonna love this one. This is a absolute favorite of mine. It is a daiquiri, but this one's gonna be a lime daiquiri. I'm a big lime fan. You can make it a lemon daiquiri. You can make it an orange daiquiri, whatever you wanna do, but I love lime, so I like that little sour taste. So what we gotta do, again, a very simple one, and uh, what we wanna do is take our ice, like put about a half a cup or so ice, or a little more than a cup, and I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on the blender right now, just gonna pulse it, um, just to crush it up. That's all I want to do. And that's it. I'm gonna take that ice, and we're gonna go ahead and push it through, and put it into my mixer. The whole thing. This is amazing, you're gonna love it. This is the hardest work you're gonna do all day on this one. Let's get it all out of there. That should be good for now. Let's see if we can get a little bit more out of there. There we go. Now you put it into your mixer, right? You're gonna shake this thing down. Next thing we wanna do, we're gonna take a lime, a full lime now. 
half it. I like this little lime presser that I use. It's about three teaspoons of lime juice. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this puppy right in here and squeeze the lime juice in there. Get it all squoze. Is that a word, squoze? Let's do the other half because again, we're looking at about three teaspoons. Of it. And that should do it. Now, once the lime is in there, let's go ahead and move the lime over here. All of our junk. And take our rum. <laughs> here comes our rum. Here comes our rum, everybody. We're gonna do two, one, and two ounces of rum. Again, I like using that white rum. Mm, I love it. And finally, since we got some sour in there because of the lime, we're gonna look, use a little bit of stevia. One packet is too much. So what you wanna do is you can measure it out if you want, but I like to eyeball it, look at that there, and I go about half packet. Eh, a little bit more. At this point, we're just gonna go ahead and shake this thing down. All you gotta do, so again, back to the cocktails and drains. Uh, 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 uh. Got, look how it's frosted up. It's amazing. Now, next thing you got to do is, if you can get it off. Perfect. Okay, after about that shaky shake, the cocktail glass, put some crushed ice in it. Let's just go ahead and fill it. That's it. This is your lime. Awesome daiquiri. Woo, that's got a little bite to it. It's got some sour, it's got some sweet. Mmm, that's a good one. You like sour daiquiri? This is gonna be your fit. That's it. We did three drinks. We did rum punch. We did uh, uh, pina colada, and here's our daiquiri. Now, I gotta serve these to my folks, my wife, not my kids, because they're not 21 yet, but I think this one's a winner here. I don't know, man, that pina colada's pretty good. Anyway, I'll be right back. We're gonna go ahead and enjoy some of these sips, and uh, gosh, this is good. No guilt, see you right back here. Well, folks, here we are, we've made it to the end. Yes, this is part two of Mixology with Mike Oski. Low carb, keto type, no guilt. Like I said, no guilt in the drinks. I just can't be responsible for what you do after the drinks. So that's up to your guilt. Anyway, rum today. Last time we did vodka. This is Eastern Caribbean fun. We have daiquiri, we have a rum punch, and we have a rum pina colada. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my taste See what I think I like best. Love the daiquiri, it's nice and sour. Yep, a little sour. If you like sour, that's your fix. And of course, a rum punch. You can put this one in a big old whatever and put it outside for you for your, oh boy. Fantastic. That reminds me of, of a rum punch I've had on a snorkel cruise one time in Aruba. I love Aruba. I think this might be my favorite because I've been sipping it for a while. Mm -hmm. Pina Colada wins. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. Pina Colada wins for me, but I like them all. And the great thing is, is that they're all, all good, good, good when it comes to sugars and carbohydrates. We're trying to eliminate those. In fact, this Pina Colada has zero carbs. I mean, yeah, you got heavy cream in it, only, only a little bit. It's only like 50 calories. So, guys, this is what you have to do. Fourth of July is coming up. We're in the Eastern Caribbean today. Next time, part three of three, it's gonna be tequila. We're heading to the Western Caribbean, okay? Uh, love it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for enjoying yourself. And thanks for showing up. Enjoy these drinks, make them. They're so simple. You can find all your ingredients in a grocery store. Nothing fancy about them, but here we go. Thanks again, for showing up. God bless you. I could lift all these up if I could. Astrovia.